Now what we're gonna do is add one page on our home page or one carousel item to actually be for our videos. Cause right now it's just like individual video items, right? We want it for the actual videos themselves. So I added a new image inside of my assets. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. And I'm gonna come on here and just do const, as in constant, and I'll say video list default image equaling to assets slash video slash one dot JPEG. Okay, actually we won't leave that as a constant. We'll just put it right up there because I'm really just using this one image. Everything else is just gonna be built into the component. So I will add one more slide here. I'm actually gonna put that slide right up front, um, not down below. I'll get rid of this ng4 because we don't need it to loop anything. And the router link, of course, is gonna go to videos. You could change the order of this how you might want. Source is going to be the name of that component item, which is video list detail image. So we are just gonna put that there. And we'll just say video list and view videos. And I'll just say BTM primary, save that. Going back in, we've got our first slide here. Looks as if the actual location of the video is not coming through or the image is not coming through. So again, it's assets images, that's the incorrect path. So assets, images, here we go. We look back and there's our video list. We can hit view videos and now it takes me to that list. Okay, very good. And they're all about the same size. So they actually look pretty good. Great, so now in our video list, what I wanna do is just kind of change how this looks too, to being more like you know kind of browsing than jumping right into playing so let's go into components on bootstrap and i'm gonna look for thumbnails click on thumbnails this is actually what i'll end up doing but i'll use some extra content in it using just like this so I'll go ahead and copy the thumbnail portion of it i won't worry about the rows quite yet and we'll go into our video list component so this portion inside of here is where we're gonna do this thumbnail. So of course that H1 tag, we can replace it with an H3 tag and that will just replace the example. I'm not gonna put any description in there, uh, but I might wanna put a button. So I'll just say a view button, that's it. And we'll leave it in as primary and we'll put the router link and, and router link active just like that. And we also are gonna use the image. So instead of having the actual embed in there, we'll use the embed image. So image source, well, how did we do this before? Let's look back at home.html, and this is it. This is the same way to do it, just like that. So we'll go ahead and grab that and bring it back into that video list detail, paste this in here. And of course, image object is not it, we called it ABC. Okay, so we'll just also say abc.name image and the alt tag. There we go, so now we have that thumbnail. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this iframe here, cut it out, and I'm gonna bring it into my detail view in here. So now it's gonna be instead of, it'll be video instead of just video. There we go, so we've got that and the next portion of this would be, I'll just say if video embed, just like that. Okay, going back into that list item here, we save that, let's go ahead and just take a look at it. Our video list now is looking a little bit closer to what we wanted. The image is not linked, so let's go ahead and link the image, just like we did with everything else. We'll close that off, and I will also put ng if, on the link itself, because or the image itself, because there's a possibility there's no image, so we'll do abc.image. And it's okay if there's not, there could just be a caption area. 
Um, and now well, what I want to do is actually have it look a little bit more like this. So that's how our div class of rows is going to be. So I'll just add a class of column small six or three here. And then above that, we'll do div class call uh, row. There we go. I'm going to get rid of this HR tag here. And there it is. OK, so our video list looks a little bit more like what videos would look like. Actually, we're going to change it to four instead of three. So there's our videos. Now I can click on any given video. And we might get an error in here because of uh, the fact that I put that embed in. So let's look at that embed. It's this right here. That's the error. So let's go ahead and look at that control or component itself. Video list had it. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut it out of video list because we no longer need it there. And I'll put it inside of my video detail. Refresh in there. And now it's showing me that video. Video detail component. We no longer need to show the slug. I will add an HR line below the, the title. And there we go. So now if we go back into our videos, we have our list here. We can click on one. It actually shows us that video. All right, so um, we're really getting close to having something just kind of complete here. Notice this does not have a video. So another thing I want to do is just say div uh, ng if. And it's not equal to that. We'll just put the image. So going back into the list, we'll just go ahead and grab this image right here. And video image. We'll add a class of image dash responsive, IMG dash responsive. Save that. And of course, this should be video.name. Looks like we might have a little error there. So div class. If not video.embed, there we go. Up, oh, this is the closing error that we have. We just want the image. There we go. Uh, and of course, the next thing is still having that question mark there. Pulled that out too early. So let's go back into our videos, click on item three, and it's giving cannot read property of image of undefined. So we are not actually getting an image inside of this one. So source, this should actually not say embed, but image, save it, click on it. It's still giving us that error. So in here, we'll just put that question mark on that one as well. Click it again. And again, it's saying name of undefined. So going back, video.name, click it again. And it's giving us null, right? Doesn't actually have an image. That's probably what this is right here. So instead of having it like that, I'll say if not video.image. Still, still redirecting us. So what we really want to do is put those divs like we did before. So div ng if video. Then we'll put it all in here. And I'll get rid of these question marks because all of this is now inside of that video tag. So video.name, video.embed, if it's embed, and then we'll say if video image and, and not video.embed, that logic makes more sense. So if the image exists and there's no embed, then we will go ahead and use that Im image. We'll refresh in inside, go to videos, click on the image, and there we go. So now it's actually showing up. And depending on if the video is in there, it'll show the video. If it's an image, it'll just show that image. And it's image responsive, but it's not actually in the center. So I'll just add a class of here of text center. Save that. And that should bring, well, it actually didn't bring our image in the center. So what I'll do then is just add another style tag or a class inside of our image. And I'll just do img dash center. So we save that, still nothing. 
So I have to create that one. So let's go into our styles.css, img.center, and I'll do margin, zero auto. We save that, and there it goes. So now the image is in the center. Okay, so um, we're definitely a lot closer to actually having our images and our site working uh, in the way that we want. So if you have any questions on what we did here as far as styling is concerned, let us know. I will say this video list though, since we made it look better for the video list component, I also might wanna have all of this inside this exact thing inside of my search detail component, which is this right here. Paste that in, save that. So now when I do a new search, new search does not come in, welcome does, item does. Same sort of thing, right? Okay, cool. So that is it for uh, additional styling on this one. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.